Log entry, the catch Scarlet Queen, Philip Carney, master. Position 22 degrees 15 minutes north, 114 degrees 45 minutes east. Wind fresh, sky fair. From July 3, 1947 to February 25, 1948, the voyage of the Scarlet Queen brought listeners the weekly adventures of Philip Carney, master of the namesake sketch, The Scarlet Queen, and his crew as they traveled around the seas of Southeast Asia. Created by Command Radio Productions, the show was purchased for broadcasting by the Mutual Network, while Howard Duff played Carney in the audition episode and Alan Ladd was approached about the part, Elliot Lewis took over the role for the entirety of the series run on Mutual. Ed Max played Carney's first mate, Red Gallagher, Gil Dowd, and Bob Tallman, who were finding success teaming together on scripts for The Adventures of Sam Spade, were hired to co-write the scripts for The Voyage of the Scarlet Queen. The music was composed by Richard Howard, a stalwart of West Coast Radio whose work would also be heard on The Adventures of Philip Marlowe, Rocky Jordan, and Wild Bill Hickok among many others. The Voyage of the Scarlet Queen never attracted a sponsor. In February 1948, after a seven-month run, the Mutual Network pulled the plug on the series due to unimpressive ratings. The show could still be found on scattered stations, however, until the end of summer. The series experienced two abortive attempts to bring these adventures on the high seas to television. In 1951, Allegro Productions was scheduled to film some episodes, and then NBC revived the ideal in 1955, but neither led to any known finished video. This is Clyde J. Kell for the Old Time Radio Researchers.